Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the newbie tutorial redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 20. It's the year 2472. We finished off the Endgame Crisis the Scourge last episode. And then we went to war so we could acquire the Elgate and open that up. And that has given us the Grey Tempest. So here's some of the Grey Tempest fleet down here. Um at fighting some of our allies. I don't know where they came from there. Here's this says it's an L gate right there. And that might be the only one, actually. So can we go through the L gate now? We need a full accrued science ship to explore it. Okay, well then you're gonna have to go through. Science shot under, attack. under attack. All right, but there it was. We saw it very briefly. Tempest Shoal, 26k. Okay, so can we now go through? Can you guys go there? Yes, we're gonna send everybody through. 27 days. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. I don't want people being late to the party. Great Tempest coming in and we're just gonna try to hold it hold position here with the, all of our fleets. Terminal egress, okay. You guys are out of housing. Oh, well, well, why don't we do this thing? Replace that with luxury residence. And you can upgrade that. What do we have here? What's the small fleet? There's two little ships there. Okay. Where do we go from here? Are you guys done surveying it? Construction complete. Can you just explore? Can you just explore? I'm betting it's down at the end, isn't it? Hostile fleet detected. Um, what these guys have? They have a mix of shields and armor. They have a bunch of armor damaging weapons and a bunch of fighters. And the mothership. Thing has a whole bunch of fighters. Okay. To go destroy. Science ship lost. Science ship lost. Oh, that's sad. The Versac. Construction sent someone. Okay, I need to pick like. need to pick like three fleets. We need a fully crewed science ship to explore a system we have no intel on. Oh darn, okay. So we have to do it that way. Well, science ship, move here. You guys are all gonna have to fly together. Research complete. I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep reinforcing those fleets. Hold on. Well, 
between Unity. It's a nice special one. We'll grab it. It's not a big deal. Um, what is this here? This is all ships, so it's doing all of this stuff. It's building defense platforms for there. You guys are the gate warden, gate warden fleet. Okay, come through. We need you here. I don't think we have to worry about anybody else, anywhere else, except for there's some guys down here. Actually, gate warden fleet, head there. Where are you? Go here. These guys are sending fleets down here too. They might be able to take care of it without you, but let's not. Let's not bank on that. Okay, science ship. You, everybody, needs to go. Well, not quite everybody. Leave one group behind. Go here. Incoming transmission. Really? I'm in the middle of the Great Tempest? Research complete. Diplomatic proposal. <laughs> sure, Bernathy, give me 16,000. Okay. Exploit resource. Let's do that. What do we have here? Who's moving? Moving to star system. I had no idea that this was going to cause a problem having to, to research these systems. Automatic exploration. Get out of there. Get out, leave before you get blown up. Science ship okay, lost. Well, that's sad, but can you guys now move down there? You can. Okay, hold on. Don't want all of you going. First wave go. Pirate hunters stay. Pirate hunters stay right there. Hostile fleet detected. <laughs> Construction complete. That works out. <clears throat> Gotta find the system. Research complete. Wow, oh, exploit resource, that's cool. I'm gonna use all my science ships here. That's okay, because we can do that. What are you doing at Bioforge? Nothing? Oh, these guys are short a bunch of housing, aren't they? Well, let's see what we can do about that. This is... Oh, this is the planet we took over from them. I see. It's not our planet, that's why it's... I was like, I didn't mess that up that bad, did I? Nope, I didn't. That was our enemies when we took over the planet from them. Construction complete. We'll get this Elgate thing figured out. We're we doing elsewhere. He's there, camped on that. Good job. It's the only other Elgate in the system, it looks like. Some 
people aren't as happy about us going aggressive to acquire the Elgate, but construction complete. Too bad. Anomaly found. Moving some people around here. Places where there are jobs. Have D has some jobs. Here, how many fleets do we got? We got three of them there. I'm guessing the, the place to shut these guys off is back here. So, construction complete. That's just a guess. I'm not worrying about the market anymore. I'm just gonna let all these things stay maxed out. <laughs> right now, this is the end game. We're 27 years away from the score popping up, so I just wanna. Get rid of the Grey Tempest and move on. It's been a fun, fun game series to play this time around. Abdi still has some more people, so you can have a bunch of them. Construction complete. Abdi now short of some happy. And you guys are short of housing, but you actually have city districts, so we can afford to get people jobs and space to live. Anomaly found. Oh, here comes a ship. <laughs> Surveying, you're almost done, aren't you? Oh no, you're still surveying. Okay. How many? I feel like sitting around here while I'm waiting for him to survey is bad news, so. We have him go there. Swirling shadows, immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Dora Gottfer's face. They're cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather, jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Hefenira is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what po possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Oh, well, that's okay. That science person, but gained the ability to go to that gate. All my extra science ships are coming in handy. Construction complete. No, don't go through there. Go through here first. Actually, go through here. You go here. A few criminals are definitely of no concern. Construction this. complete. So do that. Gate. How fun is this? Only been staring at it all game, wondering what's on the other side of it. Turns out there's a bunch of these ships here. While we're here messing around with that, let's make sure we're the rent beacon. Oh, nice! We unlock the achievement. Sweet. 
Oh, how awesome is that? So the Rent Bikun Dyson Sphere is done. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that thing? Yes. Okay, then what that means is we probably don't really have enough time for complete. it to do it, but I send this construction ship over here and say build mega structure. Build matter decompressor. Oh, I'm lacking influence. Well, in that case, just fly here. We're going to need you in a bit. Am I using that edict that lets me grow? Minerals, will to power, and monthly influence. Use that one. Okay, you're here. Go down here and tell me what's down there. And be aware that this is a suicide run, but we will... We will build a memorial to you. Research the whole galaxy complete. will. We'll build a memorial and you will be forever remembered. Because the scientist that went down there and saw that. Yeah, come back. Yeah, go. Hey, you made it out. You brave soul, you. While you're here, why don't you uh, explore that system? Okay, what's in this system? Doesn't look like much, does it? Okay, maybe that's not the place. Maybe it needs to be here. Boys and girls, yep, get down there. You go up there and survey Research that. Research complete. What else do we have down here? We've got you doing nothing. Survey this. Interdimensional trade it increases science ships. <laughs> Terminal egress system is not fully surveyed. Oh, well, in that case, guess what your job is? Oh, okay, we're going there. Research complete. Science ship. I want you surveying that system. I want you surveying that system. <laughs> let's, let's get all of our science ships in here doing it. More for declared. Who, for who? The Prime Directive Machine Uprising in the Bernanke Star Realm. A fellow machine intelligence known as the Prime Directive has arisen in the networks of the Bernanke Star Realm, fighting for survival. Oh. Well, too bad, Bernathy. Prime Directive. Hmm. Maybe we should guarantee their independence, should we? <laughs> no, well, let's not do that. We got we got enough problems over here. Partles. Let's see. They're not, they're not very happy over here, are they? I got an idea. Let's replace that. Theaters. What's this with? I don't know. Rare crystals. Seems like we're way behind on those. We got two unemployed people there, and not a lot of jobs left, and a lot of space. So let's do that. So we've got room for. System survey. Thank you so much for earning, trying to earn this, but that's okay. System survey complete. Does that mean this guy has no orders? Okay, go here. And this system is still not 
surveyed. Okay. We'll be in a jiff. This guy's doing it right now. Good job. System survey. Good job. Complete. Go survey this one. Let's figure this whole thing out here. What about you? You're doing that. The alligate. You guys have eight. Well, I can't give you eight jobs, so I'm gonna have to resettle so many people somewhere else. Let's take a look at the Hab. Hab B has a bunch of jobs, it doesn't have a lot of housing, so we'll have to figure that out. So let's go look at Hab B. Oh, I guess it still does have quite a few, uh, doesn't it? Alright, so you get out. Go. Merope. That is awesome. That's a Harry Potter reference, by the way. If you didn't know that. If you didn't, what is wrong with you? Um. Let's do that. Way to go, guys. Losing a few ships here, but I'm not too worried about it. We're more or less doing being really strong here. Okay, we probably have more to take over here. We almost have this place cleared out. What are you doing? It's just surveying, 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 surveying. Everybody surveying. Construction complete. You there. How much do we need to build that? Build mega structure. We need how much? System survey. Matter complete. decompressor. Lacking 51. Okay, try not to use anymore. We need we need 300 to do it though. Try not to spend any more though. Build a star base. This is gonna be our place. We're gonna take over the L game. Okay, go here. Explore that. System survey complete. You have completely surveyed that system. Excellent. Get down here and survey that system, please. System survey Good complete. Good job. I lose this, a ship over there. That looks like I did. And you're moving there. Good. Get out of there. Evading hostile yep. fleet. Good job. You're doing your evasion thing. You guys are going over there. Kill the last of these guys off. Tempest Shroud. see any other big pockets of trouble here. Construction complete. Excellent, my friend. Build the mining stations and the research stations there. These guys are on their way. Brilliant. What's in Meadow? Bunch of stuff. Lots to survey. Rope three gas giant. What's it say? Situation log. No entries. Victory. Construction complete. We're fourteen thousand ahead of the Rufari High Kingdom. We're in very good shape there. Fourteen years away from popping the victory condition.
Construction I don't complete. see any more enemies. Incoming transmission. Oh, there's a place down there. Okay, what is this? Granathy <laughs> Star. Commercial pack. Sure. Um, where is the nearest science vessel doing nothing? Go down there. Explore that system. I missed that other system there. It was kind of hidden. It's on the low, the low down, the down low. Let's go see what we can do about that. Those are this place up here falling short. Oh, mm. okay. I have some decisions to make. I have to do this. I have to spend my things to do this. Um, you guys just don't have enough of jobs for all your people, so let's send some of your people somewhere else. Hab B still has 41 jobs and 16 housing, so that's where we're going to send some of your people. Okay? gentlemen we've got this one last spot down there the tempest shroud this is it this is their big thing this 51k and then 26 26 26, 26. that's 100k they got about they got about 250k of stuff so uh let's not screw around system survey come job i want you to go over here because you're going to do that system next you are doing what? No Research orcs. complete. Let's survey that system. Construction complete. All right. Construction get over there. complete. We'll send everybody down in there, and it'll be a massive war. It'll be big. What are you doing? So after that. What resource is that down there? Nanites in the Moreau system. What system is this? The magic system? That's what it's called. Yeah, everybody here. I'm going to send you through at the same time. You guys ready to go do the swarm? Let's go. And it's underway. Construction complete. Oh, this is just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Bombs away. Tempest spent. Our forces have succeeded in destroying the main facility on the Great Tempest. With the neutralization of the subspace transmitter, all existing Tempest nanomachines have been rendered inert. Unable to maintain their cohesion, their ships have dissolved into nothingness. Any planets that were covered by the Tempest Grey Goo are now home to enormous swirling dust storms consisting of nothing but disabled nanites. Time and resources these worlds could possibly be made habitable once more. Awesome. Awesome possum. Sweet. Okay, everybody head back here. We're going to get you all repaired and stuff. Man. They did it. The Grey Tempest. They thought they were tough. Research complete. All right, let's get you started. Build mega structure. How oh, come I can't build it now? Matter decompressor. Can it build it to existing orbital station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Construction complete. All right, so let's do this downgrade. Now let's try this. Still cannot build due to existing orbital station. Okay. In that case, we're going to take this thing and we have to do what? Okay. We can dismantle it. Then we have to build. You can't build the mega structure now. This is so dumb. Now we got to build an outpost. Guys are coming through the gate. That's awesome. Um, all of you. Oh, you don't. You don't need to be repaired. What? You just lost some ships, eh? But other than that, you're pretty good. Interesting. Huh? So, what do we have here? Construction Oops. complete. Construction oh, complete. Guys home then. Um, everybody move where they're supposed to go. Now you can build mega structure. Okay, you're, you're still building your thing. Still building the star base. 67, 68, 69. System survey complete. Building. It's weird that you have to destroy the starbase and then destroy the outpost and then build a new one before you can build construction complete. The mega structure. But there it is. That's how it works. So there you go, folks. That seems to be the bug, and that seems to be how you have to do it. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. In the meantime. Are you... nobody's doing anything. Construction complete. Okay, well... We'll get the rest of our scientists back in some... Uh, back in business around here, let's see. Who's doing nothing? You can come back here and assist research there. Sentry array. Keep research complete. That was just incredible. That was pretty cool. Mizar, what are you doing? Your hangers? You don't need to be hangers anymore, do you really? You have a bunch of trade coming through there? don't need to. We can send this trade up to there. Actually, we can send it there, because that one's going there. Yeah, we can do that. So you, down here, Mizar, you can grab trade. That'll allow you to grab that 199 there and that 3 there. Research since you're done. You guys are waiting to build more stuff. Understandable. You need to do this. There you go. Build those star bases there. Hot diggity dog. I'm just going to turn this up to fastest. As we kind of uh, go down the last little bits here. People are closing their borders, that's fine. Missing in action. 
That's fun. Everybody's still a little mad about that whole... Oh, the Golden Pact is now... We're not in the Golden Pact anymore, and so now the Rifari High Kingdom are part of the Golden Pact. Oh, they're, the Prime Directive. They're going after the Prime Directive. That's funny. Prime Directive. Wow. Well, good for you guys. The 001 continuity ended up being nothing. They just kind of uh, sat around and did nothing. Bunch of bums, really. Second wave. Lost a few ships, but not many. My fleet seemed to, to hold up pretty well, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go up here to the L gate and we'll keep. we'll colonize. All of this stuff around here. There are no planets here, but we could build some superstructures if we wanted to, which would be kind of cool. Um, let's research this system down complete. here. This has got three really neat stars in it. Um, yes. I wonder if in a, in a tri star system like this, you system could build a Dyson sphere on one of these and it wouldn't complete. harm these planets because they still have the other two stars. It'd be kind of wild. There's a nanite world. Research in. complete. I wonder what that's going to give us. Construction complete. Administrative capacity. This world, I'll tell you what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is... Give me some more cities. So you people have some room to grow. On this planet. Construction oh. complete. Here, put a gliding stock exchange on it. And something else. There's still some time ago. She used all this. Oh. Build that. You gotta have housing, people. You gotta have housing for your pops. You guys have one administrator who doesn't have a job. Well, tough. He'll, uh, Construction he'll develop complete. to a lower, lower stratum after a while. Construction complete. Pretty cool. So we handled the crisis. We handled the L gate. handled pretty much everything that this particular game has thrown against us. I feel like I've got my some of my knowledge back because it's been a long time since I played Stellaris. I played it, I feel like I played it quite a bit um, a year ago, which I did. I didn't start playing it until after Galactic Civilizations 3 released the Retribution DLC because the Retribution DLC at the time of its release just it just buggered that game up, and so I was looking for something else to give me a good 4x fix, and that ended up being Stellaris, which is fantastic. So I played it, I played it a lot for a few months last year. It's pretty much the one game that was consuming all my free time, other than you know whatever, whatever RPG I was playing at the time. I like to always have a. 4x game to go to to relax with and also an RPG to play things like Divinity Original Sin 2 which has been which was massively fun when I was playing that Pillars of Eternity they had a big release it was last year I just love role-playing. I love good role-playing games. They've been Research they've always complete. been my favorite kind of game to play, but the the space 4X games have always been a close second place behind role-playing games. I've never been much for real-time strategy games. I never got into that whole StarCraft thing when it was happening in Warcraft. I didn't didn't do any of that. I tried to play those games, of course they're huge, they were big, everybody was playing them, playing them competitively and all that stuff, and I just, I'm not real good at the whole 
real-time shuffling bit, so... There's a lot you gotta do in real time, and I'm just not very adept at it. guys doing oh the prime directive looks like it keeps getting bigger <laughs> I don't think they're doing very well against it what do the prime directive think of, about us oh well, they like us construction complete their opinion of us defender of the galaxy plus 20 and fellow machines plus 100 and if we really wanted to end the game with a bang we would side with them <laughs> go to war against all these guys I mean, that would be chaos for the next 20 turns, 20 years, turns, there are no turns. Who are these guys? They're using our space. You know what, your gold pack thing? Tough. Closing the borders against you guys. You don't like me, so, uh... You can be out. Bari High Kingdom. Can't close my borders against you because cannot control access towards Rafari I can close border Truce of Bioforge until 2481. Oh, and you guys have a whole year. 2180 of April of next year. Okay. And the Versac. Open borders are already closed. Good. Yeah, so you guys can get out of here. Bernathy Star Room. They're our friends, so they can stay. They're part of the Gold Pact as well, though. You're all part of the gold pact. I used to be a part of that pact. I think the next time I might not be so keen to be a part of a federation, although I do like having that federation fleet hanging around to do whatever, do my bidding. That was kind of nice. It, I lost them, of course, after I left the federation. I don't have them anymore. The Versac have claimed one of our systems. Well, that's... That would be a mistake to, to think you guys can claim anything from me. I think the machines might kick your butts. Prime Directive. I should join with the Prime Directive. <laughs> Just form a federation with them. <laughs> but they have to be at peace. They can't be at war. So. What are you doing? Marope? Marope Starbase. Okay. It's weird how this doesn't give you uh, the coloring of your empire. I guess because there's no planets here, maybe. You can get these resources, but what to do? I always kind of think it'd be cool if there's a big old uh, planet on this other side that you could colonize, but... Nanite world. Uninhabitable. And you can't terraform it. Planet is not within our borders. Well, maybe you can terraform it after we go get it. Let's find out about that. Construction so stuff here complete. in Marope. Shattered world. No valid world to terraform. Can't terraform a shattered world. And the nanite world, the nanite world can be terraformed. Oh, wow, awesome. We're gonna terraform that sucker. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. I like this. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, dude, um, here's the deal. Then. Go uh, build the mining stations, build the research stations, then build outposts there. These guys have one, two, three, four, five systems. Construction complete. Benanthi Star Realm. They might get them under control. Safari High Kingdom. Thought I closed my borders to you guys. Did I not? Oh, I can't close my borders. That's right. Okay. I'm dense. I can't close them yet. Oh, but I got an idea. I see I have uh, resources that I can finally exploit here, so... Let's look for the rest of those in my empire. I hate that that scourge... 
clicky noise. Whatever that is, you know. I hate that that's still going on. That is a bug in the game that I can't believe Paradox hasn't fixed by now because they know it's. They've got to know it's occurring. They've heard people mentioned it on the message boards. They know it exists. Research complete. Research complete. I wonder how much administrative capacity I can actually get. Because that's, uh, my Empire Sprawl is 887. Hmm. I might just keep taking that and see. See how far I can go. As our worlds are turning, I'm doing well. See, this is real. I always like this. I always like it when there's Incoming nothing, transmission. nothing there that needs attention. Research agreement from the Bernathy. Okay, sure. You know, you guys are trying to be friends while everybody else in your faction are being jerks. Tell you what, Bernathy. Offer migration treaty. We can ask them for association status with their federation. No. I would like you to join my federation. I would like you to become my vassal. That'd be cool. And you could just enjoy the high life with me. Let's see if there are any species that need attention. Oh, there are. These these poor fools here. They have a bunch that still Situation enjoying the updated. frozen tundra. It's like, no. Species modified. That was effectively fast. These guys, Estuani. Situation log updated. Completed construction of the matter decompressor. This thingy Maju. Yes. All right. Upgrade. Species modified. Back down here. In Bioforge. We're still building this thing. Century, 40 days remaining for this. A massive static antenna provided as unprecedented boost to raw coverage. Playing this makes me want to play the other way that I really enjoy playing, which is to turn off the end date and just play until I conquer the entire galaxy. Being um, purgers, that is... That's a fun way to do it. And playing on a slightly bigger map with the... Uh, with trying to purge the galaxy would be pretty fun. Construction complete. Exactly what technology, oh, there we go, achievement unlocked, I can see forever. Exactly what technology is housed in the ring that encircles the century A is a closely guarded secret. The results, however, are undeniable. We now have virtually perfect knowledge of all fleet movements in the galaxy. Wow, cool. All right, so we can build another mega structure. And there go all our edicts. He's at the matter decompressor site, doing nothing. We couldn't build something on Marope? Why? Why? Okay, well, that's fine. These planets, though, what? The continental worlds. Colonizing. But I want to colonize them with the uh, construction complete. Not the humans. Probably research call complete. Like Super Biofort Supremes again or whatever. The racks are a bunch of humans. Wait a minute, can't we colonize it? There we are, Bioforge Masters. Yes, um, this is Marob Three. And then the other one was Merop 4. Research complete. Construction complete. Cool. We're gonna live on some nanite worlds. Research complete. Oh. Um, 
in that case, construction, I wanted to know this. Could you build a Dyson Sphere around this? Go here. Can you build a Dyson Sphere around one of these? And would it build mega structure? Dyson Sphere. Exists. Cannot build outside of Empire Borders. Well, it'll be part of our borders soon, so I'm curious about that whole Dyson Sphere. And then I wanted to build another ring world somewhere. Can I build a ring world anywhere I want to? I build a ring world up in the L gate. Construction complete. Where, where where's a good candidate for a ring world? Like, would this be a good candidate? Ring world site. Due to the immense requirements and qualified technical, yeah, I can only build one mega structure. That's not true. As soon as I go to Edix and I say, where is it? Architectural Renaissance mega structure build capacity. Thank you. Now, is this something? Ring world site, multiple planet-like zones. Yeah, just go build one here. Let's build that. Construction complete. Let's give that a shot. Let's build our second ring world. Kind of cool. Would it not? Would it not? Twenty-four eighty-two is the year. I'm falling short on minerals. I'm going to need to acquire more minerals. What is this? Our empire population was an even 4,000 there for a second. And now it's 4,001. Hmm. Interesting. So the one thing I don't quite understand is assimilation. Set default rights to everybody. Assimilation. What does that actually mean? Pops of this species are altered over time to better match the dominant species of the empire. Pops that are in the process of being assimilated will not produce any resources. Construction. The complete. dominant species is I'm I'm a robot. I'm mechanical. Everybody else is kind of real. So it makes me wonder. We wonder what that mean, need, means because I would think assimilation would mean that they would become like me, like a robot, like a Borg. Construction complete. Construction complete. It's very interesting. Don't worry, from you go here and build that. Really miss that it doesn't have the same look as this, but. Oh well. The Golden Pact. How are you guys doing down here? Oh, oh, did they? I don't see them anymore. Did they kill them off? Looks like it. Yep. I think they killed them all off. So they're, they're in the process of taking this back. Well, there they go. They killed off those machines. Darn. <laughs> That's the other thing. We could go into our apologies and we could change. We could change it to purge. Allowed. The troublesome and corrupt elements within our empire must be cleansed. Less. So it's not a signatory. Must have a gestalt consciousness ethic, xenophobe ethic, or fanatic xenophobe ethic. So, if we wanted to change, if we wanted to shift our governing ethics attraction, we'd probably have to go in here and look at who was fanatic xenophobes. Xenos disenfranchised. 
Ensuring that no Xeno species within our empire enjoys full citizen rights will please the super bioforge supremacy dominance party. That's interesting. Extended peace, stalwart defense. What is that? Disallowing unrestricted wars. Hmm. Free movement, which we don't have. Reproductive freedoms, which we don't have. Born equal. Refraining from an enacting complete. policies that favor the ruling elite will please the Democratic Reform Watch. Yeah. Defensive states. Secular states. Psionic pursuit. The flesh is weak. Corrupting our natural bodies with cybernetic implants will greatly displease the Council of Divine Guides. Oh, well. Interesting. Interesting. So if I wanted to become a perjurer this late in the game with only 17 years left, how would I go about doing it to shift my governing ethics attraction? Let's see. Reform government. So we could say, let's see. Fanatic materialist. Authoritarian. Mechanist. Civic cannot be added or removed. Technocracy. Mining guilds. Is not egalitarian. The throat politics. Philosopher King. Hmm. Police state. Don't care about that. Shadow Council. Election influence cost. Don't care about that. Slaver guilds and the rest of this. So there's nothing we can really do at that point in time. Colonization Corporate. in progress. Change to a corporation. Hmm. Empire sprawl penalty plus 50%. Machine intelligence. I have mine. Research complete. So we can't really do that. Can Colonization in progress. Because he's immortal now. Demographics. Happiness. Governing ethics of attraction. So I don't see any way to actually change him. Election only after ruler death. So I'd have to reform my government to something else. Upon ruler death, designate a successor. Or hold an election every 20 years to select a new ruler. That's what you'd have to do. You'd have to change to that so you could change him. Because he's immortal. He's just going to go forever now. Wow. That's kind of weird. So... That would be the one way to change that. that we have here. toxic count. Construction complete. Policies. Native interference. Unrestricted. We don't really care about that. Native enlightenment. We did resettlement. Allow land appropriation. Complete. What's this change? The land that lesser species are not properly utilizing can be put to greater use by their betters. Planets conquered from non-citizen species will have up to five pops displaced and replaced with citizens from other planets. Wow. Interesting. Refugees, citizen species only. So if I changed my repulation, rep, my, uh, if I change that, my refugees policy. Edict. Information quarantine. Governing ethics attraction plus fifty percent. Trying to think of how to go in the opposite direction of that. Hearts and mind. Governing ethics attraction one hundred percent. Ethics shift chance one hundred percent. So this is inner a concentrated propaganda effort to make the populace. Understand the merits of the government's position ultimately is for their own good, but it says ethics shift chance 100%. That's really weird. So it's like, we want you to follow us, but then we're also going to provide an ethics shift chance of 100%. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Let's go back up here for a second. What are you doing? The 
other one. Just go build station there. Down here we have what? This planet can be terraformed to a continental world. This planet can be terraformed to a continental world. This planet can be terraformed. So we do get some planets out of here. We just have to do a little work to get them. That's cool. Still, I'm really interested in the governing ethics thing. Leaders, generals, admirals, scientists, and governors. Okay. So let's go back to species and say showing empire species. So if I set the default rights for everybody, residents pops are free but are less important politically, and the species cannot produce leaders. Slaves undesirable. <laughs> All must be true. Is not the same species as Biofort Supremacy. As Discalc comes as fanatic purifiers. As policy purging allowed. As policy displacement only. As the trait machine. It has the trait. So policy purging allowed. But I can't allow purging because I don't have xenophobe ethic. So that's how you would do that. You got to get the xenophobe ethic displacement only. It's not our responsibility to see the needs of those who would undermine the foundations of our society and let them find their homes outside our borders. Construction complete. Interesting. So I suppose the only way to really do it is to support the guys who might be able to shift your Xeno is just ensuring that no Xeno species within our empire enjoys full citizenship rights. No immigration. Signing any migration treaties will displease them. Base of Xeno studies strong alone. Super bioforge supremacy dominance party want our ruler to be one of their species. Yeah, so these guys. So Xeno's disenfranchised, ensuring that no Xeno species within our empire enjoys full citizenship rights. So if I go to species and I say set the default rights for everybody, citizenship, assimilation. What happens if I change that? Does that switch their stance there? Research complete. Yeah, ensuring that no species within our empire enjoys full citizenship rights. That's interesting. Local rivalry. No hegemony. I don't know who you would. Let's see. Anti stratification. No. Um, keep the peace. Not them. Empty shell. Secular state. Flesh is weak. Not them. <laughs> these guys. Indirect xenology, multicultural society, all refugees welcome. No. And they want federation. Science without borders. So there's no way to really even switch our... We're currently 27% xenophile and authoritarian xenophobe. Due to its current attraction value, we expect around 2% of our pops to embrace this ethic. 3% of our pops currently embrace this ethic. The attraction of our pops to xenophobe is currently affected by the following factors. Active, one active political faction, xeno leadership policy, and free xenos in the empire. Hmm. Active political faction. That's interesting. Embrace the policies and values of the Super Biofort Supremacy Dominance Party, bringing them into our government. This will permanently change our governing ethics and displease all other factions in our empire. Support is greater than 20%, which it's not. So, it does not have the fanatic xenophobe ethic. Lacking 135. 
Construction complete. Than 20%, so they don't have 20% of the support. I see. Promote the faction. Oh. Xenophobia promoted modifier added, giving the following FX. Xenophobe ethics attraction plus 100%. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. We can promote that. All right. And then what about these guys? Militarism. Promote the faction promotes egal egalitarian. Promoting these guys would promote pacifist ethics attraction. Promoting them would promote spiritualism. Promoting them would promote xenophilia. Materialism. And authoritarianism. So by promoting these guys and these guys, it's basically promoting them the same. Both of these are xenophiles. And so this group here embrace the faction and the problem is we just don't have enough okay let's see if we can actually shift our, our governing ethics before the game is over i'm curious about that all right well this episode's gone on long enough that quite a lot has happened so folks as always thanks for watching if you guys have a question or comment drop it down below if you think the episode was cool hit the thumbs up button and if you like the info on the channel you can subscribe hostile fleets pirate fleets Void pack. Okay. So thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.